Well, g'day everyone and welcome back to another David Max of Golf video, where today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create cinematic golf vlogs using just your iPhone. Now, a lot of us wanna go and buy all the expensive camera gear and make our production look absolutely insane, but not everybody has that budget. So can you go out and create great quality golf vlogs using just what you've got in your iPhone and a couple of accessories? Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, you absolutely can. Then stick around because we're gonna head on course and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Now, first of all, before I get into it, if you haven't already liked this video and subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. It really helps me out. It helps me keep creating great content for you guys, going through these videos and showing you how everyone else can get a whole lot more out of YouTube and what they're doing in general life. So just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, and let's get on with it. It's really important to note that everything that I'm doing in this video, including this recording right here, is done from an iPhone. Now I haven't even got the latest generation iPhone, I haven't even got the cinematic modes, I haven't even got all the whiz bang stuff that the 13 Pros and the 14 Pros have. What I'm filming off right in front of me there is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So with cinematic B-roll, some steady shots and all of those things that we're gonna to wanna to put into a golf vlog, how do you actually do it without spending thousands and thousands of dollars on gear? So you gotta understand that there's two key features to creating a golf vlog that everybody needs to have in their videos that they create. One of them is audio. The second one is visuals. If you can get the audio and the visuals right, you're gonna have a lot better retention with people watching your videos. You're also gonna be able to create a lot more cinematic looking videos that people are gonna actually want to watch. For me, there's nothing worse than getting onto a video, having really crackly or bad audio. You last about 10 seconds, 15 seconds before you wanna click off the video. Let's be honest, and I've done that myself. I've got a whole lot of videos that are older videos that had bad audio. The retention rate of actually keeping people watching those videos is really, really bad. So get good audio. Now you might be wondering, how do you do that when you've just got an iPhone? How do you get good quality audio when you're walking away from the camera? You want to do all of those sort of talking shots and whatever. Well, I've just found a Yulanzi. Now I'm going to put the link to these in the description below. They're all Amazon, all really cheap, budget-friendly stuff. So I've got the Yulanzi J12, J12, however you, however you would say that. Basically the Yulanzi J12 microphone, that's exactly what you're hearing me talk off right now. I have the microphone just here. And what this gives you is it actually gives you one receiver and two microphones. So it comes in a box like this, which is really, really cool. Okay, so you've got a little hard case there. It's actually a charger box. So I've got one microphone out at the moment. The other one is just sitting in there. And obviously the connector receiver is on the phone. So you can have two people, you can play a match together. And I think these are like 50 bucks, 59 bucks. I'll put the price down there. The link's gonna be in the description. But these are so cheap. So here's some examples of some of the things that I'm doing here on course where you can actually see me explaining through the shot before I'm about to hit it with great quality audio, walking away from the camera that people are gonna to wanna to see. All right guys, so the image in the audio looks Really, really good actually. I have moved the audio just down there to cover it from the wind. It's a really windy day here. So I am on a Lynx course. So even if you're hearing just a little bit of wind, that just shows that it's still really good quality. So this is not, I guess, a normal course. A lot of courses won't have as much wind as what we do here at Lynx. But either way, I've got three wood. We're on a par five. Let's see how we do. Exactly like that. That's perfect. So flipping it around in my face, guys, I'm walking directly back into the wind, into the cart, just to test this audio level quality. What is it like when I'm walking back into the wind? It's basically hitting me straight on my chest. So if there's a lot of wind feedback, then you're gonna get a bit of that. If there's not a lot of wind feedback, well, that's really good quality. Alrighty guys, so we've hit the shot off the tee and it's a really good shot. And I've just taken a look at some of the footage. The footage looks amazing. The, the iPhone has such a crisp camera that if you can get it right, it's a really useful tool. Low ball flight. That was absolutely beautiful. I hope they picked that up because that was just amazing. So the next thing is going to be the visuals. We got the audio sorted, now you want the visuals. You got a really cheap, great audio option from Yulanzi. 
Now, how do I make sure that I've got steady shots that if I'm walking, I don't get the bouncing camera like this? Now, the iPhones have great stabilization in them all the way from, you know, the 12 mini that I got here all the way through, but it can get really tricky. So a way you can get those really steady, smooth shots that look amazing when you're walking and they're not bouncing around everywhere. Again, it keeps people's focus on your videos. If you've got the really bouncy shots that make your eyes do this when you're watching the screen, actually watching the video, again, you lose retention with people. So how do I do that? Well, I've got a really cheap option. This one's from Feutech, and this is a gimbal that will put on your iPhone and is absolutely amazing. Now this gimbal is called the Vlog Pocket 2. So obviously for vloggers, right? You get a little tripod, you get a gimbal, which simply just unhinges, and you tighten this bad boy up. Really, really cool. Make sure that the locks are loose, so all the locks are loose now. A really cool feature of this is it's got the screw point there, so that's a quarter screw. Um, so you can actually go and put this straight onto a tripod as well. And if you're going through and you're using the app from Fayutech, it can have all of the follow me stuff. So like if I moved over here, the camera would go that way. If I moved over this way, the camera would go that way. And if you've got someone to kind of put that box around you while you're out, it can make it look like you've actually got a cameraman on there. But everything that I've done here is on my own. So uh, I didn't really use that feature. It does allow you to use your standard camera functions. Now this will only go up to 1080p's. If you want the 4K resolution, which is what I'm recording from right now, it still allows you to use your standard camera app, which is awesome. You just put this on here, then I turn the motor on. Easy as you like. So now I've got a balanced gimbal and all of a sudden, I can move my phone and my footage around like this. You can see how that just keeps it so steady. Um, it has a joystick function, so I can move the joystick up and down. I can move it side to side. I can do all sorts of stuff. And this is a really cool, cheap alternative gimbal. It's gonna get you the really steady B-roll shots like this. So really, there's only a couple of products that are cheap. Um, I think these go for about 125 Australian. Um, these Yolanzi mics here go for, I think, about 50, 59 bucks, something like that, Australian. And you have enough there to create a great quality golf production that looks cinematic. You get all your B-roll shots, you get great standard shots using 4K, 60 frames per second, which not even my actual camera does, so I can slow the footage down, I can speed it up, and it still looks smooth. So guys, how awesome was that? That's me done for the day, a full course vlog, full production, done on an iPhone 12 mini. Not even the iPhone 12 Pro, just the iPhone 12 mini, and it looked absolutely awesome. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you've got any questions or comments, throw them in the comments section. I'll get back to every single comment in the comments section, and I'll help you create great quality golf vlogs using this cheap gear. Thanks, guys. See you on the next video.